It's easy to create data for charts. There's really two main kinds of charts, time series and categories. And so what we're going to do is start with a title, and I'm just going to call it time series. And then we can put our dates or times or months along this side if we just type in January. You'll notice that we take January and highlight it. There's a little bar button at the bottom and get that little plus sign. You can click on it and drag that down and Excel will automatically know what months you're trying to put in there. And then we can just put in some data. That might be a bit too much right there. And simply select that data with our mouse. Go to insert. Click on line chart because that's a time series chart. Virtually all these others are some sort of category chart, except for the scatter. Or you can actually click on this little button down here, and that will bring up all your various choices down here. And in this case, we just want a line graph. Click OK, and that will create our chart. Now we might have to clean charts up, right? So we might have to get rid of that legend because it doesn't tell us anything. Excel will automatically pull in the, the title. And we might want to get a hold of our uh, lines here, because those are actually chart junk. Delete those. And so now we have a pretty good looking chart. Now you can do that uh, with Excel native, or you could actually use our easy chart process, or the QI macros have all of these charts built in as well. To do a category chart, what we want to do is start with a category. And we might have defects type, so we might have things like bent, folded, uh, torn, uh, cut, shredded. And we might have some numbers in here. And so we can take that data, select that with our mouse, go back to the, the uh, chart menu. And here we could choose a column chart. And again, we have a wide variety of charts, but we just want the single, simple column. Or if we wanted to, we could go up a 3D column, but we'll just use the simple chart. And again, we might have to get rid of the miscellaneous stuff in here to clean that up a little bit. Now, if you want to, you could add uh, access titles and things like that to your chart. All you have to do is simply go in and say, uh, uh, where's our chart options from that chart area? And add in some other things so you can change the chart as much as you need to. But that's how we create charts. And again, we could do that with Easy Chart, create a line chart, and it'll actually prompt you for titles and do all that cleaning up for you and make a little bit bigger picture. Or we could come in and say, I want to do a, a column chart here and it'll prompt you for titles on that and put all your titles in there and do all the cleaning in advance for you. So you can use Microsoft Excel and simply create data that's time series and do it in columns because there's no reason to run this horizontally because people don't read spreadsheets but they can understand charts pretty easily. Or put up your categories with each one of these things as well. And again we want these to be done with one of these various types. So we could have a pie chart or a bar chart, uh, even an area chart or any of the other charts like a donut chart. A lot of these other charts can be done with category types of data. And that's how you create data for charts in Microsoft Excel.